Hello friends, uh, this is Sarwar from NT Abstract. In this video, we are going to learn what is uh, integration testing and integration testing approach and how to perform integration test and what need to be tested. In this uh, video, I'll try to uh, demo a few uh, real-time scenario that will be a uh, clear understanding for uh, who are new into the testing. So uh, let's uh, discuss what is integration testing. So a software typically consists a multiple uh, software module or component and it's developed by different programmer individually. So when the individual module logically integrated, testing team verifies it's working fine as a group without any error. So uh, take a look like, okay, how it's worked. Like for example, this module developed by like this module a developed by like developer one and this one that a b developer by developer two and c developer three so then when but when it's um, integrated logically together then we have to make sure all functionality of three component is working fine as a whole without any error so that part we have to uh, go through some scenario here and let's uh, discuss some uh, approach there are three type of uh, approach big bang approach incremental approach and bottom up integration so what is uh, big bang approach in this technique tester uh, first verifies functionality of individual component after that they perform combined functionality of the integrated module so incremental approach in this uh, technique most of the time tester only test the component which is ready for test not all dummy component which is replaced with the driver or stuff so and uh, bottom of integration in this technique tester first test high level component after that all low level to high level so let's uh, take a look some scenario i think uh, there are a few videos are available in youtube uh, you can view those in detail to know how uh, integration testing approach work but i will show here how to test the component with the real-time scenario so but there is another uh, point we have to know before starting integration test tester need to make sure all the component pass through unit and smoke test in addition check with the uh, CM team that all latest uh, version placed into the testing environment in fact, uh, it's difficult carry on integration testing without uh, any technical design document. So, uh, tester should have better understanding design, design uh, documents where it's clearly defined integration between each component. So, that part we have to know uh, before starting the testing and obviously uh, tester need to develop test scenario and test cases based on the requirement so here are some uh, scenario just a user action and system transactions for example user transfer money from his saving accounts to checking accounts and what is the verification here we have to verify system system should update balance summary checking and saving amount so let's look this what is the step we have to follow to test this scenario so first of all we have to log into the system then on the once you log into the banking domain system then you will see the account summary so like for example here is before uh, transfer checking account has $500 and saving account has $800 and also like uh, 
when user perform any action on transfer uh, amount to uh, like his uh, checking account from saving like 240 so as a tester you have to verify its reflect to checking account module as well as saving account and account summary so before it was five hundred dollar in checking so after transferring so checking will increase and saving will decrease so that is that we have to verify as well as you have to check also checking account after checking and the same amount reflect into the checking account and same amount reflect into the saving account so that is the test you have to make sure you're doing correctly and in addition there is a uh, for example i have another scenario here like user add students data into the user profile account so what is the verification point in here so data should store into the database and user able to view the data using view only module so that is that part we have to make sure like so there is a see uh, here is uh, three type of module integrated one is user and uh, profile another is uh, database another is view form so that we have we have to make sure it's integrated properly and it's work without any error so let's take an uh, example here i have an uh, student profile so let's uh, enter some data in this uh, application like i'm adding student 1003 and then student name john last name mike and address 456 browning road and then measure i'm just uh, putting the information technology then i'm clicking on submit and you will see that data is record added successfully now i want to see we are considering this one as a b module so it is showing into the in this part so click on view see 1002 john mike and 466 browning road and this is my second record so now i have to make sure the same record added into the database so let's uh, look into the database that record added into the database so that is that means in this module is integrated properly with the database that we are validating also so that is very important so uh, let's see here database i have a table like a student table okay here so now i'm just writing a query here select star from two dates then we'll expecting here two record as you see here two record is showing so that we have to now i have to do like another test okay i want to remove like one record so it's removing or not so let's say how many record is removed maybe it will because uh, remove I, i'm not sure how many uh, record is removing here let's see uh, view see all record is get removed now i have to make sure in the database is removed or not so it's removed so that means database and like view module and the application is integrated properly that part you have to make sure so now i'm testing in another scenario here uh, like user add and update and delete the item on shopping cart so in that scenario uh, like what you need to be make sure how it's work so that is uh, we have to make sure product suppose i'm uh, um, in that is that is some mechanism like suppose you are searching the product like iphone so from where it is uh, displaying that means it's showing from 
Amazon database and showing here giving facility to add into the shopping cart. So let's add add this item iPhone and what it is I think iPhone uh, republish I don't know the price anyway the price is showing on 244 okay then there is some so we have to make sure that when I'm clicking on add that product detail adding into the because I maybe I add two item here anyway so there is a two item added here you want to verify see because maybe I took in their uh, like plan also uh, that uh, that I, did, I, did, I select by mistake anyway so it is also added and also the iPhone also added so okay I don't want to take any plan for okay so once you delete that you have to make sure three things should update here the count and the price so okay let me delete that and then you see it is only showing iPhone and one item so that way we have to test shopping cart and like some other uh, scenario so in the real time so I hope uh, this video will help who are new into the uh, testing and just I just want to give like some uh, real-time scenario that way it will be better understanding so instead of uh, learning by heart I think it will be more helpful for uh, new people who are in uh, the testing uh, team thanks and thanks for watching uh,